There's an establishment called F. Arminelli that may just offer the best steak deal in New York City. For about 19 bucks, you get bread, a salad, two sides of your choice, and an eight ounce flat iron steak. Simply put, I just had to give it a try. It's a very pleasant day today here in New York City. Right now I'm at Astoria Park in my home neighborhood of Astoria, Queens. But I'd like to talk about a restaurant that I went to a couple days ago in the nearby neighborhood of Woodside, Queens that may just offer the very best steak deal in all of New York City. For $18.99, you get bread and butter, a salad, two sides of your choice, and an eight ounce flat iron steak. Considering how expensive even your basic fast food restaurants are these days, that sounds like an absolute hell of an amazing deal. And the establishment that actually offers that special is pretty unique in itself. It's actually in a butcher shop that's been around for years, and the butcher shop is located in the back of a burger restaurant. The place is called F. Arminelli, and I first heard about them in an Eater New York article. The article discussed how you can select a steak for a very affordable price, and then to get it cooked right there and no extra charge. Then after doing some of my own research about F. Arminelli, that's where I discovered the lunch special, and I love a good deal. So considering that I went to Perse the other week and not only had one of the greatest meals of my entire life it was also the most expensive meal of my entire life and i can't wait to share that experience but as a result i've got to save a little bit of money but there's no way in hell that i would forego eating good food i just adapt to the situation i look for those deals so i thought this would be the perfect time to head to f Ottomanelli and try their lunch steak special F. Arminelli is located in Woodside, Queens, and it's pretty easy to get there by using the 7 train. I, however, walked nearly 40 blocks from my apartment in Astoria, Queens, which subsequently took longer than I thought it would, and as a result, came right after the lunch rush. It's a pretty small restaurant. On one side is the counter for ordering burgers, in the middle are tables, and at the far end is the butcher section. Since I was ordering steak, I was told to find a seat where a server then presented me with the menu. While I knew that I was getting the lunch special, I couldn't help but lust over their selection of steaks, which are sold by the ounce. F. Arminelli may function in ways like a restaurant, but at its core, it's still a butcher shop. You can do the math on some of those prices, and it equates to some great value, especially in comparison to what you would find in a Manhattan steakhouse. Plus, the meat is prime and most of it is dry aged for at least three weeks. I'll definitely have to try a big steak for my next visit, but I was focused on the lunch special for that meal. For $18.99, one gets bread and butter, a salad, a choice of two sides, and an eight ounce flat iron steak. In terms of beverages, there was a small selection of beer on the menu, but I was hoping for a glass of wine, so I just stuck with water. However, I later found out that there was a separate wine menu that I just wasn't presented with. But it wasn't that big of a deal, I was there first and foremost for the food anyways. Plus, I was given bottled water instead of tap water and wasn't charged anything extra. Soon enough though, I was presented with the salad, but before I could even try it, I was given a bread basket as well. I turned my attention to the bread first, which amounted to three rolls with James Farm's salted butter. The bread is nothing special, and the butter wasn't going to save it. However, I could care less. I didn't even expect to get bread with my meal, as it's not even listed as being part of the steak lunch special, and the establishment just didn't seem like the type of place to offer bread. Still, it was nice that it was presented, but I didn't feel compelled to have any more. Next, I tried the salad. It's a pretty simple concoction, consisting of a variety of greens, some onions, and cherry tomatoes. There was also a balsamic type of dressing, which I added to the dish. The salad wasn't bad, but it's nothing that would turn me into a vegetarian anytime soon. Everything at least seemed reasonably fresh, and it definitely felt like I was eating something healthy, which made me feel good in that respect. Although, I didn't even get to finish the salad before my steak and sides were presented. So now I have all my food, and jeez, this is a lot. With so many plates in front of me, I was hyped. Obviously, I had to try the steak first. It was presented very simply on a clean white plate, which really highlighted the juiciness of the meat. The steak also came out pre-cut. My first bite was pretty satisfying. It was a solid steak. Now, even though a flat iron is not one of the most prized cuts, it's still a good piece of meat when it's treated right. 
F. Ottominelli's flat iron was cooked for the most part pretty nicely. I requested my steak to be cooked at a medium rare, but the pieces towards the center of the steak were rare, but I didn't mind it that much. I always prefer to have a steak a bit under rather than over, plus it's almost impossible to get an even temperature throughout the meat using conventional cooking methods. Flavor-wise, the steak was good. While it can't compete with the taste of a ribeye, it nevertheless had a good beefy flavor, which was enhanced with the seasoning blend topping the meat. I really enjoyed the seasoning. It's not just salt and pepper, but a combination of other spices. It might have been the Otto Steak Rub, which was listed on the menu under the steak styles. In fact, I wouldn't have minded if there was even a little more of the rub on the steak. It was really nice. No doubt about it, the flat iron was solid, especially considering the price, but the meal was truly tied together with the size. For my first side dish, I chose one of my steakhouse go-to's, the creamed spinach. To put it frankly, the dish was just okay. Basically, it felt like it was more cream than spinach. The dish simply can't compete with the offerings I had in a number of other New York City steakhouses. But at the same time, the side is part of a meal with a very affordable price tag. Now, the cream spinach wasn't bad, but if I were to order again, I would have chosen a different side, perhaps the sautéed mushrooms or a baked potato. Thankfully, my other side, the truffle parmesan fries, were a bit better. The fries were cooked nicely, and I enjoyed the umami richness of the cheese. Although I felt that the truffle taste could have been a bit more powerful, the fries were still, nevertheless, decent. Plus, I loved the fact that the restaurant gives you two sides as opposed to one, making for a meal filled with a variety of flavors. Overall, I was having a really good lunch. It was a nice feeling to have a steakhouse experience in a place where I felt comfortable eating my meal wearing a t-shirt and hoodie. There wasn't any of that pretentiousness or stuffiness that sometimes mars the city's top steakhouses. Plus, and more importantly, the prices were absolute bargains. However, I also love and prefer the classic steakhouse experience, but it's still very nice to have something casual and affordable like F. Ottomanelli. After finishing, it was time for the bill where I went up to the front counter to pay. My total with tax came to $20.68, but I also added a 20% tip, which brought the check up to $24.48. Obviously, it was worth it. So that was pretty satisfying. I really enjoyed my lunch at F. Ottomanelli. So does F. Ottomanelli offer the best steak deal in New York City? I think that depends. For example, if you have an appetite, then there's no question that Legacy, with their $45 unlimited ribeye special, is the best steak deal in New York City. But not everyone wants to eat that much ribeye at once and just leave a restaurant absolutely stuffed. As a result, F. Ottomanelli might be the perfect choice for that situation. Plus, I love how you get to choose your own sides. And let's not forget about Launcher Coat. I think the sauce that they serve with their steaks is reason enough to go there, even though they're not the cheapest, nor do they give the most food, but at $35, they're still a hell of a deal. Regardless, I just love the fact that there are New York City restaurants out there offering some very good steak deals, and they're all kind of unique in their own way. In summation, I really enjoyed my lunch at F. Ottomanelli. I think their steak lunch special is a great deal. And while not every piece of food was perfect, you just can't complain with a price like that. Now, I will definitely be returning to F. Ottomanelli, but during my next visit, I wanna get one of their big steaks. I'm talking like a porterhouse or a tomahawk. Oh, it sounds so good right now. But for the moment, I'm at least glad that I got to try F. Ottomanelli's lunch special, which I think is a very nice deal. 